Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwein. Pardon the pun, but designing toys isn't child's play. It's a fast-paced industry where imagination, technology, and observation all have to converge to create a successful product. In today's episode, we talk to toy industry leader Kinex about how they developed an enormous roller coaster construction kit. I'm Vince Penman. We spoke with Michael Klitsch, a designer at Connex, and his CAD counterpart, Corey Mindler, who together built the company's four foot tall, 1,250 piece atomic coaster. Just as you might imagine it would happen, designing a Connex construction kit begins with Michael filling a room full of Connex pieces. Once he's assembled all of the pieces he'll need for the atomic coaster, Michael begins putting pieces together using a trial and error process. Although having completed numerous coasters in the past, there's little error left in his work. In every model that Michael's created, he's always tried to make a toy that excites and challenges kids in a new and different way. Oftentimes that means a design has to incorporate pieces that aren't in Michael's construction kit. This is where Corey comes in. In the case of Michael's Atomic Coaster, the design called for a series of tracks that twisted and turned, weaving the coaster's cars through the model's structure. So Michael sat down with Corey and described the dimensions, travel, and fit of the new piece that the coaster kit required. From their conversation, Corey was able to create a 3D model of the new coaster piece and send it to Connex in-house 3D printers where a model was produced in less than 24 hours. With his new piece in hand, Michael was able to complete the construction of the twisting, spinning atomic coaster. But unlike other products, building a construction kit is only half of the design process. When it comes to construction kits, being able to communicate how a complex structure is put together is just as critical as the product's design itself. In an ironic twist, Corey explained that the best way to create a Connex model's instructions is to start building the instructions in reverse. That is to say, creating instructions is actually a process of deconstruction. From its fully built form, Corey moves backwards, slowly dismantling Michael's coaster until he's left with nothing but the kit's unassembled pieces. But rather than dismantle the model in a haphazard fashion, Corey has to be certain that his instructions won't confuse the coaster's core audience of children. To make sure this doesn't happen, detailed step-by-step -step instructions are created based on the coaster's CAD model. From the simplest concept of how Connex pieces snap together to complex multi-connection construction stages, creating accurate views of a model is key to this process. While this tried and true method works for most kits, if a new piece is introduced to the Connect system, designers often test how children will use the piece by watching them use it in a construct -a kit. This observation process can be critical in understanding how to accurately communicate a design and ensure that a product successfully provides years of play. Thanks to PTC Creo, Connects was able to rapidly model and prototype the pieces that were critical to constructing the atomic coaster. In addition, PTC Creo made developing the atomic coaster's instructions a snap by allowing the coaster's massive assembly to illustrate intricate construction details. This episode is sponsored by PTC. To learn more about PTC Creo and how it can help the development of products, visit ptc.com slash product slash Creo. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.